Well, good day, everyone, and welcome back. I am in Deniliquin, back where it all started. Uh, I must say, I got here yesterday, I drove around a bit. I have never seen the river this low. Uh, a few of my normal spots can't even fish, there's no water there. Uh, it's probably a good meter and a half lower than I've ever seen it. But we're at the fishing platform at the bridge, so I apologize in advance for the noise. And we're also trying out a new travel rod that we got from Timu. So we're gonna give that a go again this afternoon. I'm gonna be in Denny probably for at least a week, but we don't have a timetable when I'm going back home. But I did bring my fishing rods, gonna get some fishing in while I'm here. And uh, really hoping to catch a Murray Cod while I'm here. So fingers crossed and we'll see what happens. So on the travel rod, I just have a running sinker set up and uh, some bread. Not sure if this rod and reel can handle a cod, so we'll see if it can handle a carp first and then uh, go from there. So on the other rod, it's more of a Fat Noster rig set up with two hooks, uh, both with cheese. So hopefully that'll get, it, get me onto a cod. That would be nice before I leave. Uh, probably be down here for about two or three hours, so uh, we'll see what happens. We're actually getting, getting a bit of something on both rods. Oh, yeah, got, we got something. This is on cheese. This is on the cheese. Oh, and it's a carp. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Very dark one. Shouldn't say I'd be shocked. I thought with the cheese though, you know, might might have a chance at a cod. There we go. Very dark carp. Said not a, not a huge shock, but uh, probably right around 30 centimeters or so. So not too bad. And we're on the board. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Might be on the board again here in a second. <laughs> but anyway, there we go, that's one. Got another on the cheese. Feels like a little better fish. Oh yes, a little more tug. That's nah, a carp again. Bigger one though. Much bigger. Yeah, there we go. That one's closer to 40 centimeters. And uh, kind of the normal colors of them. Not as dark as that last one, but that's two. And not surprising, both carp. <laughs> Give you an idea about the water depth. There's tires up there. On that little wharf. That's normally where the fishing platform sits up. And uh, that's a good, that's got to be a good three feet up. But uh, everywhere, you can just see where it was normally water and snags. It is now just mud. Those reeds, you can see the bottom half of it. The water used to come up probably a good foot on those. But yeah, very different down here from the last time I was here. Very different. Yeah, I'm getting a bite on the bread. Just little subtle, little subtle tugs. It's 
talking to Lee this afternoon and uh, I left just in time right after I left this morning or yes right after I left yesterday it started raining and uh, hasn't stopped so the wind actually woke her up last night as well so uh, that's the good news of this trip <laughs> Well, plus I get to do some fishing, so I can't complain about that. Well, we got our first one on the uh, on the little travel rod here. It's on bread, so I've no. Oh, he got off. Oh, it was a carp. I did see it. Oh well. I'll we'll just have to hook into another to break this in. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, let's see if we can get this one in. <laughs> oh, don't go under there. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Breaking the new rod. Handled pretty well. There we go. Little different shape. He's more sleek than fat. And uh, a bit dark in color too. But that's number three. So, not bad. Not bad. Hello, dude. <laughs> oh, we put into another on the bread. And it's another carp. Not much of a fight. Well, I'm back in my room. <laughs> and, uh, sorry about that last fish. Battery cut out and died. And yeah, not much I could do about it. But I did put it up on a short if you want to take a better look at it. But uh, four fish in total in just over two hours of fishing. Water is very cold and very low. Uh, I am going to try some other spots while I'm, while I'm here in town. And uh, as I said before we leave, I'm really hoping to get on a Murray Cod. But I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, keep fishing.